Chuck Ramsey in his 16th year going up against head coach Ron Ashlaw, year number two here at Milwaukee. Jeremy Richmond, a silky smooth jump shot. You look at Johnson going to work. Mm -hmm. And a move by Jake Anderson. Jake Anderson. Yep, good no call. Jeremy Richmond did a good job of backing off the foul and a great play by Anderson. Brandon Paul. Now Poliquin. James Pound scores. Yeah. He gets his mitts on the ball usually in his possession. James Poliquin. He just ripped it away from a couple of Waukegan defenders. And here we go in a game of runs. Looks like Warren coming out strong here in the second half. You remember against Zion Benton how Waukegan came out in the second half. Richmond, wow. over Poliquin. Almost the same spot that Brandon Paul hit his three-pointer. Couple of feet beyond the line. Jeremy Richmond draining it, and again, no rim. Jeremy thought about three, now he takes it inside the arc. That's a deuce. And what a shooting display we are seeing by both teams right now from the perimeter in a pressure-packed sectional championship game in a packed gymnasium. Both teams shooting from the perimeter brilliantly. Duncan again. Blocked by Richmond, this is an offensive foul. And it looks like, who took the charge there, number 21? Quan Connor, I think, taking the charge. Great job by Connor. Good look on the replay from our CM. Connor for Richmond, with emphasis. Team offense, team offense. Replay, watch the shot, and then watch Connor get the rebound. A no-look pass to Jeremy and slam Jamarama for Richmond, who can do that at will on the inside. And there, ex-Chicago Bull, Dickie Sitkin's taking a look, and Dickie, of course, has a AAU team where a lot of the players in this game play for Dickie Simpson. I think it's PLP, I believe, the name of the team. Seven seconds, Paul launches, scores. Brandon Paul, a clutch shot. Now Connor. Oh, they convert. His first miss tonight, John. Waukegan, nine for 13 in the first. Oh, oh, oh. what about that? Oh, I took a look at Chuck Ramsey. He's looking over like, what are you doing, Brandon Paul? And he hits the best. Nice shot, Brandon. Good shot. Richmond again with the flush. That's a rare defensive breakdown. Warren, normally a solid, fun. Steve Pollock in an offensive lineman, all-conference player. Good look at the ring. Jerry, we've seen that before, haven't we? We definitely got a few Game Buster Fives to choose from. No hanging on the rim tonight from Jeremy Richmond. Pelican. From the corner, Paul for three. Brandon Paul's got that look like he is not going to let his Warren team be defeated, and he usually plays his best in the fourth quarter. The game you saw against Lake Zurich, he went absolutely nuts in the regional championship, bringing his team back from desperation. Montgomery hits the hardwood now, David Duncan. Stops, pops. Oh. oh, walk lead. They're first in a while now. Connor. Jake Anderson the rebound. Up it comes to Brandon Paul. And he is followed by Nickerson. Brandon Paul has that look like he is not going to be denied. The senior does not want this to be his last game. The Blue Devil fans loving it. Let's look on the replay here. Aaron Montgomery, the all conference linebacker. And then Duncan, the stop and pop from three-point line. Has he been huge here in the second half? 15 for David on the night. 11 straight points for David Duncan. How's that for a boost wow. from your guard? Well, Keegan, by the way, in the second quarter, how's this for efficiency? Or third quarter, I'm sorry, nine for 13 and only one turnover. They played a brilliant third quarter, but Shaky here in the fourth quarter, and Brandon Paul, the All-Stater, 23 already. Warren by three. So remember I criticized Brandon's blueberry muffins? I got some, I didn't know there were that many blueberry lovers out there. A couple of people were giving me a hard time. time. Well, there's not a lot of blue food out there. I, I just thought it's an imposter in the fruit world, but I guess I found out differently. Stephen Connor, not a Richmond. And they switched the matchup, now got Anderson on Richmond. Richmond the long range. Bulldogs the push. Richmond. Count the bucket. What a fast break by the dogs. Yeah. They thought they might have got a carry on Nickerson, but they let the play go. That was a nice look off by Jeremy Richmond. I think the defender thought Richmond was going to pass it. 
He kind of faked the pass, wants in the replay, two on one transition. You practice this in practice all the time. Little fumble. There's the fake. If you're going to foul him, you got to foul him hard. Defensive mistake by Aaron Montgomery. Richmond fails to tie the score. Full central. That'll be something. What a ball game that will be. Oh. This bucket will count for Springs. I'll tell you, the Springs cousins now have combined for 20 points on the ball game. The junior Mike and his cousin, the freshman Aaron. It is springtime for Waukegan. Watch on the replay. <laughs> Richmond, he is such a good passer, such an improved passer. And Michael, who typically doesn't go that deep into the paint, takes the hit, makes the bucket. Balls on Pollock, his second. David Duncan has three for Warren. Richmond, call the rebound. Brandon, for three. Anderson's rebound. And put back. And North. Anderson out on Jeremy, who lets it fly. Oh. For three. Oh, what a pressure shot. He thought about passing it out. He thought about driving. He said, you know what? You're going to play off. I'm going to take the shot. Repossession, the intensity level, high. Richmond fouled by Montgomery. Montgomery came around the backside. Uh, Anderson was between Richmond and the basket. Yeah, what a defensive job for Jake Anderson. Now they're pretty much letting Anderson play Richmond one-on-one. -on -one. Montgomery came to help from the backside and kind of stumbled into Jeremy for the foul call, but what confidence Chuck Ramsey has on his six-foot-four senior, Jake Anderson, to defend Richmond. So we talked about the two marquee players tonight. You look at Richmond with 23 points, working on 24 tonight. The other 23 wearing blue. Brandon Paul's got 24. So Jeremy top, top billing. 76% free throw shooter missed the first. 